Tower Unite as one of the best systems for building your own personal condos. But what are some of the best ways that you can build the condos? Let's take a deep dive into the process of building a condo in Tower Unite. First up, let's take a look at the condos. Each player starts off with the default condo. It is a private island with all sorts of building space and plenty of room for activities. If you are looking for more condos, you can stop by the Horizon Condo Store. The store assistant is Jeff, who looks like this, and sometimes this. You can buy all the condos in the games here, and each of the condos has a video which goes alongside them which shows you all the features that each condo has to offer. Now, what to put in the condos? All of the stores in the east and west storefronts will sell items that can be placed in your condo, and just about any item that you earn can be placed in your condos too. You can buy up to 100 items at a time in any of the stores. Once you find a condo that you want to decorate, you can pull up all of your items by holding the Q key. These items can be easily dragged and placed in your condo from your inventory. Once the items are in your condo, you can click on them to change their location, orientation, and size using the menu at the top right. This menu can be changed by clicking and dragging the number, or by inputting your own number into the text box. Many of the items can also be colored in different ways too. By right-clicking on an item and clicking on the Edit key, you can change the color of the items. Changing the color and the size of some items can help give the illusion of multiple different items being used. That way your build does not look like you simply copied and pasted the same item over and over, and you'll be left with a much more natural looking build. One quick button that can help you out is the undo button. As you see here, I accidentally placed this item in a location where I cannot reach it. By hitting the undo button, it places the item right back into its last location. Remember to save often too. The condos have an autosave feature, which triggers every few minutes and will save your progress. But it is best to back up your saves so you do not lose a bunch of work on them. You can also keep multiple saves of a single condo, which you can load between. That way if you have a few builds that you want to have for the same condo, you are able to work on both of them without getting rid of one entirely. Now let's say that you want to copy over the same items from a section that you've already built. Pay attention, because I'm about to save you a bunch of time. Now, as you can see here, I accidentally set up my plate in the wrong location. Now I need to move all of the items over to the side. I can do this individually, but there's a much better way. First, I will start off by selecting a single item. Then I will hold down the left shift key and begin to select all of the other items that I want to move. You can see that the arrows now fall in the middle of the items that I have selected. Once you have all the items that you want to move selected, you can use the arrows to move them in one big group. This process is known as grouping. But we're not done yet. If you wish to quickly copy over an item, there is one more trick that you can use. By holding down the left alt key and dragging an arrow, you can copy over all of the selected items that you had selected. Once you copy them over, you can move them over to the location that you would like to place them. This duplication method can be done with any item at any size, but you need to make sure that you have enough of the items in your inventory in order for the duplication to actually take effect. Another great tool that will save you time is the tower glove. This is an item found in your tool menu. It's automatically given to you when you first play the game, so there's no need to buy it. The Tower Glove has all sorts of tools that can help you quickly access various settings and functions when building a condo. You currently have access to the Copycat tool, which allows you to copy and paste items that already exist, the Quick Scaler, which helps you scale items into larger and smaller sizes, the Stasher for clearing items, the Targeter, which helps you with editing the location of items like strings and teleporter locations, the Transformer tool, which lets you transform the position and scale of a selected item, and the Locker or the Unlocker, which will lock items down so they can no longer be accidentally edited or stashed. Be on the lookout for more items added in the future, such as a dedicated grouping item, which will function similar to the previous method that I talked about earlier. Now what if you're in the middle of a build and you find yourself out of a specific item? Well, you could go back to the plaza and pick up those certain items, or you could buy them from the comfort of your own home through the use of the Tower Express shop. The Tower Express is an online store which lets you buy online items without the hassle of going to the online locations in which they are found. The Tower Express store can be found here, right by the main item menu, or by visiting express.tower.com, which I will have located in the link in the description. All you need to do is sign in through your Steam account to gain access to the store. The Tower Express shop lets you buy almost any item that you could buy in the plaza. You simply search for the store that you are looking for and type in the name of the item that you want to buy. You can buy up to 1,000 items at a time, and they will automatically be added into your inventory. Once you find the items that you would like to buy, you can add them to your cart, and then scroll to the bottom and confirm your purchase up at the top.
Once you return to the game, you can hit escape and pull up your inventory menu to refresh the items in your inventory. You may need to click back from the item menu that you have, but the items should appear when you refresh. Keep in mind that there are some items that you cannot buy using the Tower Express shop, which includes items from the arcade. Now let's talk about my favorite items, the canvas items. Canvas items can be purchased at the DIY store in a bunch of various forms. These items will spawn in with no image set, but you can right click them and have them set to all sorts of pre-made textures. These items can be scaled to almost any size, so make sure to experiment with the different styles and features that the game has to offer for them. These items can also load any image from the internet. While that statement is quite horrifying, it also means that there's almost an unlimited number of items that can be loaded onto each texture for our builds. All you need to do to access this feature is simply copy the URL from an image on Google and paste it into the search bar found by hovering over the canvas image, left clicking and going into the edit option. The image can then be set to fit most scale sizes and locations. Tower Unite also comes complete with workshop support, which means that you can also import items that have been made from other creators. In order to use these items, you just need to buy one of the workshop support items and bring it into your condo. By editing the item, it allows you to browse all the workshop models that have been made by the thousands of creators out there. You can import your own models if you want or browse the selection of all the other ones that have been made in the game. Keep in mind that using a lot of these items will cause the game to run a little bit slower, and it can take a little bit longer to load. Once you have selected an item, you can edit it in the exact same way as a normal item. Most of these items will come in their normal mode and the workshop physics mode. The physics mode simply means that you are able to pick up and manipulate the object without being in the creative menu. The best way to begin building in a certain area is to build with a general plan or idea in your head. Once you have a theme that you want to go with, stick with that plan. Remember that the small details make the biggest difference. And make sure to check on how your build looks in both the day and the night cycle. Use lights to light up the dark areas when it's nighttime. That way you get to show off your work at any time of day. Always try to have a center point when you're building new areas, especially for structures. And remember to take breaks when you need to. And don't be afraid to try new things. Experiment with different ways to build certain items. For example, this art studio may look simple enough on its surface, but when you clip through the walls, you have an endless dark void, perfect for building all sorts of rooms and locations. This entire area is not affected by the weather, so you can make just about anything you want without having to worry about the day and night cycles for it. Take some chances, and you'll be rewarded in no time. Hopefully this guide will be able to provide you with some help for building your condo. And I look forward to seeing all the condos that you are able to make.